Hey guys, Miss Motion Edits here, and I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how I do my motion tracking using Element 3D and the inbuilt camera tracker. So you want to import cinematic, that will be good for motion tracking. I just recorded this one, so and then put it in, and then find the point where this where cinematic starts. So I'll do it here. Find the point where it ends. Do it here. And then you want to pre compose that. <coughs> and figure out where you want your first text to be. And I want mine to be on top of this, this thing here. So cut it to the first frame where it starts. Around here. And you use Control Shift D to split it, but because I'm using Camtasia, I can't. <coughs> and then you split the clip again where you won't see the text anymore, which will be in this frame. Oh shit, oh shit. Oh, good and really sneezed. Alright, and then go to where you want your second text to be, which is on top of the plane for me. So then again, start it where it will first be viewed. viewed. And there we go. Alright, so text will be in this one, and text will be in this one. So you want to duplicate the ones where the text is going to be, and for the top layer, top file, both duplicates, right click and track camera for both. Alright, then the bottom, the bottom uh, file of the first track, change the name to uh, reflection one, and for the other one. Change it to reflection two. Twelve forty four. Yeah. Alright, then you want to add a new solid. And I normally always save it just about here because sometimes element crashes to my After Effects. And switch up element and put it on. And if you don't have element, there'll be a, li a link in the description of. Oh, I will show you what it looks like. Um, it'll have an installer, which you just run, and then it'll have this plugin that you go to your computer, C drive, program files, Adobe, After Effects, support files, and plugins, and there'll be one in there. Then you need to place this one. This one's like the patched one, so that'll make it work. And you need to move it in place. And then if that doesn't work, and if you open After Effects and it says you need code, you do this license generator. And sometimes After Effects will be like, will say something's wrong with Element, and that it will say like it's trial. So you need to like delete it from Program Files and then reinstall it. Pretty easy. So once the camera track is done, you create a camera for both of them. And then with element, you're going to want to split it in half. So, I'll do this. so you have two element files, one for each um, one for each text. So first text and second text. Right. So for the first text, open custom layers, custom texture maps and click on reflection one and then custom texts and masks oh fuck i already made oh, wow that was stupid i haven't even made the text so it'll be miss motion edit present i'm gonna change font to one that i fucking love not that one it starts with t though so. um hypergraph pro And then hide the layer once it's done and make another text layer that will say, what would it be want to say? What am I doing? I'm doing A7 cams. I've got to see what the motion tracking is going to be. What do you want the motion tracking to say? I might have already asked.
I'm just gonna make it say. Wait, what's the plan name? A7 Aqua 7. So I'll make it say Aqua 7 Cams. No, I need a Tintosh. Tintosh. But yeah, you can easily change that. So then back to the first element and change it to Miss Motion Edits Present. Just go to Scene Setup, extrude it, put on a bevel. This one that I've made. And then go to Environment and change it to your custom layer. So then you get nice reflections. And then, and then there it is. So, oh damn, it's pretty fucking much where I wanted it. Anyway. Get a particle or particle replicator, just adjust it to where you want it to be. A bit higher and a bit back. And change the size. See if that's alright. You gotta make sure the element layer isn't bigger than the camera tracker, longer. Otherwise, it'll completely screw up and like turn up just randomly here. So, there's Miss Motion Edits present. Move it on a little bit. And see now it goes off the view, so then you can, it'll go, go away. And then for the second tracker, do exactly what you did for custom layers, import the environment reflection to, and Aqua 17 Tosh, thank you, applied. No, you didn't. Extrude, put the same bevel on, and do the environment. And then it comes up there, where do I want it? Don't want it that far away actually, maybe a little bit back, a bit more to the left, a bit up here, and then just increase the size. And so, yeah, that's basically how I want it. And then, okay. Then go back to the first element layer and click down on multi object here, enable it, and then I normally do just rotation random a bit up and I do scatter and that just moves the letters in a random way so it doesn't look so uniform and then do the same for this one you can just mess around with it, it doesn't have to be the exact same for both just whatever looks good and then then that is basically how I motion track so let's just preview this. And just make sure the element layers fit up with your uh, camera trackers. <coughs> Alright. I'll just start with the render. <coughs> Apparently, Zappy is back. Okay. Damn, look at that sexy thing. I might actually move this text a little forward. Not that forward. Maybe there. Yep, I'll just run through it again quickly. Alright. Damn. Look at that sexy tracking. <coughs> Fuck yeah, it looks nice. I mean, I must say. Alright. And then I just trim it up. Oh, fuck, I can't trim it up. When I'm using Camtasia. But, just trim it to size. Hey, come on. There's 
Not for this. Yes, it's frozen. Mm, there we go. It's frozen again. I didn't save it. Fuck. <sighs> I saved it. Real good. There you go. Trim it up. <coughs> and fucking boom. Fits nicely. As hell. And there we go. That's how I do motion tracking. Pretty simple. It takes like five minutes. Once you like fully, just once you can, once you've done it once, pretty simple. Anyway, 